If you're shopping for a high-end TV right now, you need to hear this because the entire TV industry is about to change. Not a small upgrade, a complete reset. Sony, Hisense, and TCL are shifting to a new backlight called True RGB Mini LED, which produces pure red, green, and blue light at the source. The result? TVs that are dramatically brighter, far more color accurate, and capable of picture quality today's models simply can't touch. So here's the big question. Should you buy a TV now or wait for the 2026 revolution? If you need a great TV today, don't feel frozen by the future. Current high-end models like the LG G5, Samsung S95F, and Sony's Bravia 8 Mark II are outstanding. They're mature, reliable, insanely bright, and because this tech cycle is ending, prices are finally stabilizing. If you're ready to upgrade now, check out our other video. In many ways, right now is actually the smartest time to buy a flagship. You're getting about 90% of the performance of the next generation without the early adopter headaches or the premium price tag. So, if you want the absolute cutting edge, start saving for 2026. But if you want an incredible viewing experience tonight, check out our other breakdown on the best TVs you can buy right now, sets that will still look amazing for years to come. True RGB Mini LED is the future, but until it matures, today's kings of TV are still sitting comfortably on the throne. Let's dive into the 2026 TV lineup. Sony is historically conservative, often waiting for technologies to mature before adopting them. But for 2026, they appear to be leading the charge. We have uncovered trademark filings in Japan and Canada, where Sony has officially locked down the term true RGB. This branding is almost certainly destined for the successor to the current Bravia 9, widely rumored to be the Bravia 9 Mark II. Sony's implementation of this tech has been demoed behind closed doors at industry events like IFA Berlin. Reports indicate they are using a backlight density of up to 32,000 mini LEDs, but unlike competitors who chase raw brightness numbers, Sony's true RGB seems focused on what we call chromatic dimming. In a standard TV, local dimming only controls brightness, light, or dark. With true RGB, the processor can control the color of the backlight. Imagine a scene with a deep red sunset. A traditional TV shines white light behind that sunset and relies on the LCD panel to filter it red. The Bravia 9 Mark II can simply turn the backlight red. This boosts the saturation and luminance of that specific color far beyond the limits of the LCD panel itself. Sony is targeting a peak brightness of 4000 nits, but with the color volume of true RGB, that 4000 nits will look significantly more impactful than it would on a white LED display. While Sony focuses on precision, Hisense has chosen brute force. They effectively fired the starting gun on this technology at CES 2025 with the 116-inch UX series, a television that serves as a proof of concept for the entire industry. Hisense calls their implementation Trichroma LED. The specifications on the 116 UX are barely comprehensible by today's standards. It achieves a peak brightness of up to 8,000 nits. To put that in perspective, a standard commercial cinema screen is roughly 100 nits. This TV is 100 times brighter than a movie theater, but the 116 UX costs as much as a luxury vehicle. The real story for 2026 is the trickle-down effect. Supply chain leaks suggest Hisense is preparing to launch the U9S series, which brings this trichroma RGB tech to standard consumer sizes, 55, 65, and 75 inches. These consumer models are expected to feature the new HiView AI Engine X, and crucially for gamers, native support for 165 Hz refresh rates. Hisense's strategy is clear. They want to bring the monitor class specs of high-end gaming displays into the living room, using RGB mini-LED to offer color performance that makes even Quantum.OLED look restrained. Then we have TCL, a company that has decided to take a very different and slightly confusing strategic path. Instead of going all in on one technology, they are bifurcating their flagship lineup, effectively A-B testing the market. Sitting at the top of their 2026 roadmap is the TCL X11L. Surprisingly, this absolute flagship does not use the new RGB tech. Instead, it uses what TCL calls Super Quantum Dot SQD Mini LED. This relies on the traditional single white LED per zone architecture. The reasoning here is fascinating. TCL engineers believe that to hit the absolute maximum stable brightness, a rock solid 10,000 nits with over 20,000 dimming zones, the white LED method is currently more reliable and energy efficient than the complex RGB clusters. However, sitting right next to it will be the TCL Q10M Ultra. This is their RGB mini LED contender. 
it trades a small amount of brightness, hitting 9000 nits instead of 10,000 for the spectral perfection of RGB. It covers 100% of the REC 2020 color space. This split strategy is a rare glimpse into the engineering trade-offs happening behind the scenes. It suggests that while RGB is the future for color fidelity, manufacturing yields or heat dissipation might still be a hurdle for producing it at the volume and intensity required for the brute force flagship spot. If you're an OLED loyalist, you might be listening to these brightness numbers and worrying that your preferred technology is becoming obsolete. But LG and Samsung have their own answer for 2026, and it involves technology borrowed directly from the automotive industry. For 2026, we are tracking the release of the LG C6 and G6 OLEDs. The critical upgrade here is the migration of tandem OLED structures into consumer televisions. Tandem OLED was originally developed for luxury car dashboards like those in Mercedes-Benz hyperscreens because car displays need to last for years in direct sunlight without burning in. It works by stacking two emissive layers of organic material on top of one another. This doubles the efficiency. You can run the panel at the same brightness with half the electrical stress, drastically reducing the risk of burn-in. Conversely, you can push the panel much harder. We expect the LG G6 to combine this tandem stack with micro-lens array technology to finally push OLED brightness into the 3000 to 4000 nit range. Samsung is also making moves that suggest a shakeup in their lineup. Leaked parts databases have revealed a new model tier for 2026, the S99H. This sits above the standard S95H flagship. We have also seen Samsung file a trademark for Neo Micro RGB. While the name is ambiguous, it hints that Samsung might be preparing a super flagship, potentially a QD OLED driven to extreme limits, or a hybrid technology designed specifically to compete with Sony's true RGB. The existence of the S99H proves that Samsung is taking the threat of high-end RGB LED seriously enough to engineer a new tier of ultra-premium performance. All of this hardware innovation creates a new problem, content. Current HDR movies are mastered for 1000 or 4000 nits. When you play that content on a 10,000 nit Hisense, the TV has to guess how to handle the extra headroom. This is where Dolby Vision 2 comes in. We are hearing strong rumors that 2026 will be the debut year for the second generation of Dolby Vision. The current version of Dolby Vision is a one-way street. The movie tells the TV what to do. Dolby Vision 2 introduces bi-directional communication. With Dolby Vision 2, the TV can talk back. A 10,000 nit Hisense can tell the processing engine, I have infinite headroom and 97% BT2020 color. Do not compress the signal. The engine can then unlock the full dynamic range of the source file. It also introduces features like precision black and authentic motion, which give creators granular control over how these ultra-bright displays handle shadow detail and motion blur, ensuring that the extra brightness doesn't ruin the cinematic intent or introduce the soap opera effect. So, here is the verdict. We have true RGB, we have 10,000 nits, and we have tandem OLEDs. The future looks incredible. But does that mean you should wait? Here is the nuanced truth about the rule of the game for 2026. Whether to wait for true RGB TVs depends entirely on your needs and your budget. If you're an enthusiast who demands the absolute bleeding edge, if you want color volume that maxes out the charts and you have the budget to pay the early adopter tax, then yes, waiting for late 2026 is the right move. This is a new premium technology, and the first generation of true RGB panels from Sony and Hisense will be expensive. But we have to be realistic about the technology curve. Red, green, blue mini LED is complex to manufacture. It involves placing millions of microscopic LEDs with perfect precision. We expect that widespread, affordable adoption of this tech will take about five years to truly mature and reach mainstream pricing. If you need a great TV today, there's no reason to hesitate. Modern mini-LED flagships like Sony's Bravia 9 are refined, rock-solid, and brighter than anything you could buy a few years back. And with this generation wrapping up, the prices are finally in your favor. Honestly, this might be the sweet spot. You're getting nearly all the performance of what's coming in 2026 without the early adopter risks or the premium price hikes. If you want bleeding-edge tech, start saving now. But if you want a stunning picture tonight, check out our video on the best TVs available right now. 
True RGB Mini LED will take time to mature, and until it does, the current champions aren't going anywhere. Thanks for watching. You can learn more about these amazing products by checking the links in the description below. If this video helped you, be sure to like, drop a comment, and subscribe. We can't wait to see you in the next video. Thank you.